Hello my friends, this is Eric Meredadaz 3D and in this video we're going to talk about camera presets. To find your camera presets you need to be in the lights and cameras activity. Select the cameras tab and be in your presets page rather than your editor page and then select on your cameras category and you'll see these six camera presets that have been set up to be used with the Alchemy Chasm product. Um, let's frame that a little bit more and you'll see we've got this really cool set and I happen to put um, this Genesis character with the Magus outfit right out here on the end in the precipice of this little overhang and I want to do a really cool rendering on that so I'm going to check out these different um, presets that the artist has given us. I'm going to double click each one of those and we'll see the different perspectives. Okay, that one's kind of cool. Cool. Alright, so we've got a couple. Uh, that one I like. It's kind of cool. This one also is going to give us a good perspective. Let's open up the Scene tab and let's talk a little bit about what it's doing when we double click. First of all, let's get rid of this camera and we'll delete it. And we'll go back to our perspective view. And so we're in perspective view and when I double click on one of these, it does two things. Let's do it. Double click. It adds it to the scene and then it selects it as our view. So now we're looking through that main camera each time we click on this. Now, if I rename this, and I mean rename it camera one, um, you'll notice that it does get replaced because they're all named uh, main camera as far as the name of the camera is concerned, not the name of the preset. Um, it's hard to see that it swaps it out, but it does. Let's go to camera two and you'll see that it replaces it. Now, if you're setting up your own scene with some custom cameras and you like the angle the camera is pointing at, you do not want it to be overwritten. So uh, that's just one warning that it, if you do use a preset, generally it's going to replace it. Now, there is a case where it won't replace it. I'm going to talk to you about that in just a minute. Let's um, look through this one, which we are, and let's save this camera out as something new. So we're going to give it kind of a cool angle here. Let's do this kind of high angle looking down on her like maybe we're the dragon perched up on the top of this little alcove over here and we're looking down on her. So I'm going to rename this camera. Double click on that thing and we're going to call it Eric's camera. And now we're going to save it out as a preset. Now, presets, when you go to the file menu, can be found right here, save as, and you've got different preset filters. We've also provided it right here under the lights and cameras tab. Right there is a camera preset. Save it out. Current frame only, selected camera. Is our camera selected? It is. It's highlighted here in the scene tab, so we know it's selected. And that is the one we want to save. So we're going to select it, um, or excuse me, accept it. Now. Studio gives us kind of a default place to put um, presets and cameras gives you the my library preset cameras folder and I do like saving things there in that location but just so you know you can pick any folder and save these presets out. Um, I'm going to call it Eric's camera and we're going to hit save. Alright now under presets you see it used to just have camera here but now it's giving you an unassigned category and that's where that puts your camera until you assign a category to it. The rest of them are right here in presets and I'm going to right click and I'm going to categorize this um, under cameras preset uh, cameras right there. Oops, that's not how I'm going to do that. Just do it right here. Click. So I click that and now it's going to put it in that category except and then when we look under presets it has joined our other six okay so we've got this camera preset but there is something different about it not only is it made by me but it's a different format if I click on this and I open up my info um, page here you'll see that it is camera5.cm2 that's an old poser format camera file and if I click on mine it has been saved out as a DSB which is a studio native format and it's got a little different quality than the other one and let me just show you that right now when I double click on this one let's do camera 4 we get that camera that loads or replaces Eric's camera which was there and it selects um, the main camera 
well it selects the camera to look through but when we double click on Eric's camera it does swap it out but it doesn't switch the view now we know this is not the view that I saved so let's go in and select Eric's camera there's my view well why does it do that it does it because when you save out a camera preset you can save out many cameras so if we added another camera for instance and let's add it and we'll say um, straight view or something uh, we'll just say camera Eric's camera 2 okay so we add that camera and we're gonna look through that camera and aim it let's do a little shot like that that's kind of a cool view and I'll save that as a preset so save it out but look we've got this option selected cameras which it is or all cameras so if I save that one say accept we'll call it two cameras save now let's go back to our presets page we look at the unassigned we have that two cameras one okay so let's load that one now well actually let's delete these and let's see what happens when we um, load that one alright didn't switch the view but we got both of our cameras in there now because we have two it says I'm not gonna select one you select which one you're gonna look through and so you're gonna need to make sure that you do that and that again is very different behavior than this one that automatically selects the camera for you and looks through it. All right, one other advantage is okay, we got the main camera in there. Um, now, if I hold down the Command key on the Mac and Control key on Windows and double click this Eric's camera, we get this little dialog that pops up and says, Do you want to replace it? Do you want to replace just the selected one? There's none selected, but if there was, that would be a good option. Or do you want to add it to the scene? And I'm going to select add it to the scene. And we're going to select that one. Even though it didn't matter, there was only one camera, so it would have loaded it. But Eric's camera has now been added. So the DSB file format, um, we uh, the way it's set up is that we can pop up that dialog and give you the option to add it or to replace one camera in the scene or all the cameras in the scene. It's very versatile, but once again, you hit the command key when you double click and it'll do it. All right. That should be a pretty good preview or overview, I should say, of um, camera presets. And I hope that uh, gets you excited about going in and setting up your own cameras. There's more to be had in the editor video, so go look at that and you'll see all the cool features that are available with cameras. That's it. We'll talk to you next time.